So where were you last year, Wednesday, can you remember? Well, on the night of December the 28th, 2022, a few days ago, it was possible to see all of the planets in our solar system at the same time with the naked eye. This is a rare opportunity to observe all of the planets at once. Uh, but what does it mean when uh, the planets so-called align? Uh, for more on this and other um, astronomy, uh, astrology and other phenomena, uh, we are joined by research scientist and director of Marisebo University, Dr. Zulu Matabo Zulu. Dr. Zulu, thank you for being with us. So I understand you are a metaphysical, you <laughs> you're a metaphysical scientist and a cosmologist. Um, firstly, are, are you interested in, in the sciences? Is, is that what you focus on? Or also uh, the, the meaning behind and how people interpret things like this? Absolutely, yes, and, 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 and mostly from the African perspective. So we, we specialize in African origin of knowledge. So when we say metaphysics, we are talking about the scientific study of reality. So that would be reality in terms of the knowledge systems itself. For example, uh, the, the, the Sesotho word, Seba, which means to know, uh, and actually it means sensory knowledge so meaning knowledge that is based on reality so that's what we we investigate we do and cosmology is a big thing among the african people for all the ethnic races of course in south africa yeah uh, all right let's just start with the facts i mean how unusual is it to be able to see all the planets with the the naked eye i don't know if people uh, many of us knew that that was possible that night i guess you have to know what you're looking for Yes, absolutely. But maybe we should uh, just make a correction to say that you couldn't really see all the planets, uh, you know, with an eye. You could only see, let's say, five of them, you know, and then from there, uh, then from there, the others, you needed a microscope. Like, you know, for example, you need a microscope to see Uranus and Neptune. And, and that has to do with the distance uh, because these other planets, you know, like like from after Saturn, these planets are, are far. We're talking like uh, more than a billion kilometers, you know. Yes. So the distance also has something to do with, with the vis visibility and also the fact that uh, as they get further away from the sun, they have less light, so it gets harder to, to see, you see. But, uh, but of course, this is the most exciting um, uh, phenomenon of, of seeing these planets aligned together and, uh, and, and, and so these things actually, uh, there are different types of these uh, group of, well, they call them planet parade, right? Meaning seeing these planets together. So usually uh, to see all of the planets at the same time, like eight of them, that, that, would, that is very unusual, of course, and it takes a long time. It is, for example, estimated that uh, the next the next time we will see su such a phenomenon will be around uh, September 8, 2040. That's what some, you know, astronomers say, for example, when they do their own uh, calculations. So, but uh, but in terms of other planets being able to see at the same time, let's say, like, like there are different types of, par of, of parades. So let's say you can see three planets at the same time. They call it a mini uh, planet parade. Uh, if you see four, if you see four of them, they call it a small uh, parade. And if you see five or more, they call it a large parade. And if you see more than that, like eight of them, like is the case now, then you are looking at a great uh, planet parade. All right. So this is the the full planet uh, parade, and we were talking about. I mean, like you say, your school system based on the system of the Basutu ancients. Uh, how are yes. things like this? How have they been viewed by the Basutu, by different African civilizations? Oh, uh, very important. Now, now, f first of all, uh, there's something very interesting. So Basutu. Uh, call themselves Badumedi. So the word Badumedi is a plural, Mudumedi is a singular. So the word Mudumedi means someone who came from the stars or someone whose ancestors came from the star systems. So in my book called The Sacred Knowledge of the Desert African Philosophical Transcendence, I, 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 I write more about this where we talk about how the Basutu and other Africans trace their genesis to the cosmos. So they believe they came from the cosmos. Hence, they use the word Mudumedi. For example, a star in Susut is called Naledi. Uh, 
And then if the star shoots across the sky, like a shooting star, uh, they call it muchochonono. Now, if that star was to fall to the ground, the shooting star, like a meteorite, they don't call it muchochonono anymore. Now they call it lidumeidi. So lidumeidi means that this particular rock came from the stars. Now, if you say human being, they call it, they call, they, they would call the person mudu maid. So th this is one evidence that tells us that they, uh, they trace their origin uh, to the cosmos. So for example, when a Msutu child uh, is born, let's say a baby, so they don't give the name to the baby right away. So what they will do, they will wait until the belly pattern falls uh, to the ground. So in a matter of weeks, and then uh, from there, they will organize a big event which they call Soroma, which is a naming ceremony. Now, this is where this alignment question comes in. So if, for example, in this particular case, there are alignments of place, or even maybe a conjunction of planets, or maybe two or three, whatever the case might be, then they're gonna also make sure that they, there's gonna be a full moon there. Uh, so once they have all these together, then they will, uh, take the baby, hold the baby, and then they will show the baby the full moon and say, you see that moon? And they will show even the, the planets are aligned. They say to the, to the baby, that is your peer. Always remember, even when you are far from the village, you must always communicate with the moon. Oh, so then they give the name to, to the child at that particular time. Wow, thank you for, for that beautiful illustration of, of how it impacts um, daily life, I, I guess. Uh, another event coming up, uh, and we're running out of time, but you mentioned meteorites um, and shooting stars. Chondratics, the meteor shower to peak on January the 3rd. Um, do you know about that or are there any uh, sort of astronomical events that we should look out for in the beginning of this year? Well, it's interesting. Uh, in, in terms of uh, now the, the African ancients of Asutu, and we're talking about uh, the meteor shower. So they have this idea that uh, there is actually a, a rain that that comes, what, what they call the cosmic rain. You know, in, in the in the, in the, in the Basu, they call it the cosmic rain, and this cosmic rain that comes to us, which is what we would call a meteor shower, is actually there as part of the cleansing of the cleansing of, of our planet, uh, because our planet needs cleansing. And, and it's, it's probably interesting that there's a lot of spirituality in terms of, of the, this cosmic rain that they talk about, you see, that they talk about, which we would call, uh, you know, which Westerners would refer to, you know, meteor shower, that, that sort of stuff. So uh, it is very critical then to say that uh, they have these principles which they call Ditaile uh, Sotaru, uh, which uh, the first one is uh, ila, which is cleanse, uh, which, sorry, which is abstinence, and then uh, the second one is uh, sweka, which is uh, cleansing, and then the third one is boka, which is veneration. So when these uh, meteor showers happen, this cosmic rain when it comes, uh, this is a period that they will set aside in order to perform these cleansing, and they will abstain from certain. Uh, for example, food items, and depending on what your uh, what your 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 plan is, for example, uh, they they will also make sure that they 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 abstain from from certain uh, types of animals and uh, that sort of stuff. So so there is a spiritual manifestation in terms of the cosmic ray. All right, beautiful. Uh, and that's coming up, uh, that quadratics uh, meteor shower uh, to peak on January the 3rd. And I uh, hope to chat to you soon, uh, Dr. Zulu Matabo Zulu, research scientist and director of uh, the Masi Sebo, uh, Madi Sebo University. Now, meanwhile, NASA paid its own tribute uh, to Pele on Friday, tweeting a picture of a galaxy lit up in the colors of the Brazilian soccer team. We mark the passing of the legendary Pele, it says, and known to many as the king of the beautiful game. Uh, this image of a spiral galaxy in the constellation Sculptor shows the colors of Brazil, uh, reads the tweet.